this is Dr. Prakash Babu, consultant urologist, Manipal Hospital, Whitefield. Today I am going to talk about commonest urological procedures that we have we are encountering day to day life. The first condition which commonly sees in day to day life is BPH, also called benign prostatic hyperplasia. BPH is a condition where the prostate gland enlarges between surrounds the urinary pass part of the urinary passage and gives urinary tract symptoms. So this BPH usually a, a disease of the elderly patient commonly seen after 15 years. The patients who are obese, diabetic, unhealthy lifestyle means dietary, diet, dietary habits and intake of all caffeinated drinks, all these things contributes to the enlargement of the prostate and gives urinary tract symptoms. Frequency, especially night time frequency, urgency, patients will have sudden desire to pass urine. Sometimes they may leak before going to bathroom for urge incontinence. And these patients has a decrease in passing urine, very slow stream and sometimes they strain and these patients will have burning and sometimes they pass blood in the urine. The first more, the foremost point, proper history. What are all the symptoms the patient has? Next, clinical examination means digital rectal examination. We have to assess the prostate size, anal tone, and how it feels whether benign or malignant. So history, examination, and some small tests such as ultrasound of dominant pelvis, which will give information about the prostate size and uh, 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 post void residue and even the kidneys, how are the kidneys and next and blood tests such as serum creatinine and serum PSA and another small test which will give how is the euroflow rate, euroflow rate. Usually the patients are categorized to mild, moderate and severe symptoms. Based on these, we can give proper treatment to the respected patients. So the options are here, wait and watchful. So for which patients we will wait, we will give option of wait and watch. Usually patients has mild symptoms, which do not bother the day-to-day -day life activities. So these patients can be closely monitored once in a year or twice in a year. Patients who are having moderate symptoms such as frequency, nocturia, and urgency, difficulty in passing urine, these are the patients where we can subject for medication. What are all the medications that we have? There are so many medications out of which alpha blockers. So alpha blockers there are various types of alpha blockers, most commonly used tamsulosin molecule which is point, comes as 0.4 mg every day and night. There are other alpha blockers also such as psilodosin, 4 mg, 4 mg, 8 mg given at the bedtime and other medications such as 5-alpha reductase inhibitors such as butastrite, finastrite can be given. So these medications will relieve the obstruction will improve the urinary flow rate. Number one, patients are not response to medical treatment for more than six months. Patients have recurrent urinary tract infections. Patients who have bladder stones, renal insufficiency and refractory immature. These are all the patients where we can offer the surgical treatment. Now the latest, latest uh, treatments for the, for the BPH are transurethral resection of the prostate which is a gold standard one 
but it can be done by using laser technology, folate or thulium. So when it comes to the surgical treatment, the transurethral, transurethral resection of the prostate is the gold standard by utilizing holmium technology. We, Manipal Hospital Whitefield has 100 watts of holmium laser which can be uh, utilized by various patients and the, what are the advantages of this laser technology very minimal, uh, very <coughs> minimal state and uh, <coughs> analgesic requirement and catheter uh, placement. So when it comes to the open prostatectomy, open prostatectomy nowadays rarely used because of uh, laser technology even patients who has more than 100 grams or 200 grams can be dealt, can be tackled with this laser technology by using polymer.